Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to manipulate arrays with unshift. Uh, not only can you shift elements off the beginning, you can also unshift elements to the beginning of an array. Um, unshift works exactly like push, but instead of adding an element to the end of an array, unshift adds the element to the beginning of an array. So what we were trying to do in this lesson, we're going to try to add uh, an array with two elements. The first is a string that has the letters P-A-U-L in it, and the second is a number, which is 35. And we're going to add this to the beginning of my array, which is this guy, which is already created, and we're going to use the unshift va value. So myarray.shift, it's already removed John 23 from here, which is weird, and they want us to add Paul on there. So Basically, we all we're doing is we're going to say my array dot un uh, shift, and we're going to add in here Paul thirty five, and then semicolon. Uh, well, let's see. The test is saying before I say this, I think that this is right. Um, but let me check this. I'm going to console dot log my array here now, and so this is my array so here i'm just saying this is my array and so what we want it to be is paul 35 and then dog three um this is how we want the result to be so it looks as if we have it right um i think we do have it right let's look at the um production my array um this is the overall result all i'm doing is changing the string which points to here um, before here let's say my let's console.log uh, my array and then we'll say this is the my array um, b before the on shift and then um, up here we'll say my console.log my array original Okay, cool. So original, we see we, it's got John 23, dog 3. And then we see that they run a shift on here, which means they remove the first element. So John 23, dog 3 becomes dog 3 because John 23 is gone. That's where we have before the unshift, right? And so now, before the onshift, we're going to <coughs> unshift Paul 35. So then it's Paul 35 becomes dog 3. So that's what's actually going on here. I hope that makes sense. I think that this is actually slightly con confusing. Like why would they add, why would they remove the first element and then add this one on? But as you can see, the result seems to be the right. So if I run the tests, it looks like everything's passed. Um, it's unnecessary to put these console logs in there. The only thing I did, the only reason I put these in there was for the purposes of this tutorial to sort of give you an idea for how things go. So this would be kind of the result of the test if that's all you're looking for. So hope this is helpful. Um, unshift again is like uh, instead of removing uh, removing a card from the bottom of the deck, you're adding a card to the bottom of the deck. So um, pop and Pop, pop removes, shift adds, unshift adds to the front, and push adds to the back. These are four things. You're just going to have to remember these for JavaScript. Um, pop removes from the, top, from the end of the array. Shift uh, removes from the front of the array. Unshift removes from, adds to the front of the array. And push adds to the end of the array. Um, I can just say from working with JavaScript for a while, it, that becomes second nature after a while. So it's just, this is actually something that is valuable to memorize. This is something I've memorized. And I think that even though it's kind of annoying and weird the way that they've uh, named it, for example, pop should just be uh, add to end. And then <laughs> shift should be add to beginning. Unshift should be, no, unshift should be add to beginning. Shift should be remove, or, uh, remove from beginning and then um, pop should be removed from end and push should be add to end so i hope that makes sense this is just something you, you're gonna have to remember this is just a, some of the weird quirks of javascript most people who really love javascript 
uh, kind of enjoy the fact that it's really quirky. So uh, I don't know. I hope this is helpful. I hope that I've explained this well. But uh, think of shift, unshift, push, and pop as add to add to the end, remove from the end, add to the beginning, remove from the beginning. And uh, hopefully that helps. See you guys in the next lesson.